I started this channel and it's basically about my Tesla and road tripping with my Tesla. I've had a 2020 Model X and a 2022 refreshed Model X. Taking it up and down the coast, up to Maine, down to Key West. Then I built Solar Trailer version 1. I covered that on this channel. Did some range testing with that. Came in a little heavy, which prompted Solar Trailer version 2. So I've already taken it up to my sister's camp like I did my Model X with the trailer, but I wanted to have a baseline. So without the trailer, it gets 2.2 miles on the highway per kilowatt hour. And when I came back through secondary roads down through Cook's Forest and Punxsutawney, it actually achieved 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour, which is amazing. I should be able to make the round trip without charging, but since I have solar trailer version two, I will be charging up at my sister's camp with my EG4 6000 XP and the small battery bank I have to see how it does. I have a charge point home charger that I will be using. It hasn't mounted yet to the back and I don't think I covered it much in video or pictures while I was at the camp, but you'll get an idea of how it does. Just getting started. My range went down from 500 and some miles to 276 because it knows I'm towing. This is the same trip I took with the solar trailer version two with my Model X. Let's see how Chevy does. You wouldn't even know you were towing anything. You can't feel the trailer behind it. Instant torque. Love the cameras. Made my trip so easy. Hands-free towing. Super Cruise is pretty good. So this is about the halfway point and I'm averaging 1.6 mile, miles per kilowatt hour left. towing. I just got on to a major interstate, I-79. The speed limit here in places are about 70 miles an hour. To be able to compare it to the Model X towing, I'm going to limit it to 60 miles an hour. So we have an idea of how much range loss we have, both from the Tesla and from the Chevy. So it stayed about the same, about 1.6 miles per kilowatt hour for the whole trip. I'm going to take it back down through Cook's Forest and Punxsutawney to get back and see if I do a little better, but I'm almost to camp at this point, so I'm going to call it 1.6 kilowatt hours, I'm sorry, 1.6 miles per kilowatt hour, and I will check in and give you the final test once I get back home down the other route. That is a good looking truck. So I'm charging with my charge point charger and my 6,000 watt inverter. Got the drone out to get these photos. Just like I'm not a professional YouTuber, I'm also not a professional drone pilot. So here I'm losing light, but I charged for quite a while. Got about 10 kilowatt hours in the couple hours I was charging. Not too bad. Again, just under 3,000 kilowatt hours of panels, charge point charger, 6,000 XP, well, EG4 6,000 XP. And of course, I have the Tusca Outdoors Hitchhiker trailer to boondock in. So now I will show you how much range I lost on my trip home. Honest, I'll show you the range I got on the way home, but just a quick look at my Silverado and Solar Trailer 2 from above. Thanks for watching to the end. Here comes the range. If you like the content, like, comment, subscribe. I'm actually almost to a thousand subscribers. Me, the non-professional. Thanks again for watching.
so almost back and the top entry is for my journey back 1.7 miles per kilowatt hour but the round trip going major roads there then coming back through 45 55 mile an hour roads I didn't do a lot better just from 1.6 to 1.7 so at least now I know what it does when you tow with the Chevy Silverado EV so what if I have my 205 kilowatt hour battery full and I want to do a long road trip and I wanted extra storage I could add batteries I could actually take power out of the Silverado EV through the 220 240 volt plug and use this charge verter and take power off the Silverado and into an external pack for when I have these charging opportunities free charging opportunities even with a full battery pack I could use that charge verter and pull 100 amp out of the batteries and throw them into other batteries that I have. These are 45 kilowatt hours of batteries in boxes that would fit perfectly left to right at, in the bed of my Silverado EV. And I think I want to try to do a road trip and make it from Pennsylvania, <laughs> Pennsylvania to Florida with zero dollars out of pocket. Thanks for watching to the end. If you like the content, could you subscribe? I'm 30 subscribers short of a thousand. Thanks for watching to the end.